Hi, I'm Jess from Burn Sewing Connection and this is Caroline. Um, she's going to be helping with our video today because it is her nap time. Uh, so you'll be, you'll be getting to see her in our video today. So today I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and do a applique on the embroidery machine as part of the luminaire. So on the luminaire you have the option to go ahead and uh, scan images in. So we're going to take advantage of that um, and go ahead and do our own um, embroidery applique. So instead of having to sit there and do free motion quilting on top of all of your applique, this is a lot easier and I love to do it this way instead. So if you watch the first part of our video, which Susan did the other day on the scan and cut, she took this dump truck and she went ahead and scanned this into the Brother uh, SDX scan and cut and was able to cut it out for me. So I have the parts of the dump truck that she cut out right here for me. So it's two tires, the body of the dump truck and then the bucket of the dump truck. So I'm just gonna bring in a little bit closer here just so you can see what we're doing. So you can see I have my dump truck there and I just iron that on. I just have a piece of cotton, um, a fusible interfacing on the back and then I just uh, fused down the pieces that she cut out for me and there was a hot fix adhesive on the back which we really like to use um, at burn sewing. And then I have the magnet hoop. So if you're looking at this and thinking that's a little bit different than the hoop I have, it is. So this is an extra hoop that you can purchase uh, for your machine. And they come in a variety of different sizes. Uh, so this is the largest one that they have. It's the 10 and 5 eighths by 16. Um, but we also have them available in our shop at the 9 and a half by 14 and the 5 by 7. Um, so if you don't have a luminaire and you're watching this, you are able to get them for your machine as well. But I highly recommend using them. Um, it does make life a little bit easier when you are trying to hoop things. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to turn you here so you can see, see the camera a little bit better, is we're going to take a picture here and go ahead and press image scan. So I press the, the little uh, foliage button at the top and I'm going to press scan and it's going to say, is it okay to let your uh, frame move and you're going to press okay. And what it's doing is it's taking a picture of my whole entire hoop right now. So on this machine, you saw I had the option to do an image scan or a line design or an illustration. So if I actually wanted to take this dump truck and digitize it, um, instead of doing an applique, I could take the, the vector image here or the line design that we found. We just found this right off Google, um, right off the internet. We were able just to go ahead and print this out and uh, go ahead and scan it in. So you don't need anything fancy to do this. You could do uh, drawings from your grandkids or you could do something that you drew or just anything you really find that you want to do is I would say go on the, the simpler side when you scan things in um, it makes it a little bit easier to work with and you can always add more detail later um, but I could either digitize this and turn it into an embroidery design or I could do my own applique which is what we're doing here today so you can see that it's all done scanning in and it's pretty light so I'm going to take my uh, translucency bar here and I'm going to turn it up a little bit uh, but you don't want to turn it up all the way so it's pretty easy to see when it's up all the way so most people have a tendency to want to turn it all the way up but when you start to draw with your your tool uh, you're not going to be able to see your pencil lines anywhere so you're going to think that it's not drawing when it actually is so I usually just turn it down one notch uh, from the top which means I can still see my design well enough but uh, I can also see my my line drawings that I'm going to draw in there as well so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to zoom in to 800%, which if you have the Dream Machine or the Destiny, you're able to go up to 800%. If you have the Luminar and the Solaris and it's upgraded, you can go to the 1600%, uh, which is nice to get really fine details. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tap my Line Properties button up here. And I'm going to switch this to just a line drawing. So right now, its default is to always go to the satin stitch, but I want it to go to line drawing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a color down here. So you want it to contrast what you're actually going to be drawing on so that you can see uh, your, your pencil lines. So I'm going to be doing the tires first. So I'm going to press uh, the green just because that's going to stand out enough for me. And now uh, I already have my pencil selected, so I'm going to take my finger, and you can use your stylus as well. Uh, if you want to use the stylus that came with it, or if you have another stylus that you purchased, you can do that as well. Um, and I'm just going to start to draw my line here. And you can be as accurate as you want to be, or as close as you want to be. It's your design, so it's up to you. 
So I did the outside of my tire and I can go in here and do the inside of my tire. Okay, so now that I have that tire done, I'm gonna press the hand. The hand makes it so that I can pan around on the screen. And if you have a Dream Machine or a Destiny, there is a picture of what you scanned up top here as well. And there's gonna be a rectangle. You're gonna move that rectangle around to be able to see um, where you want to zoom in on your design and be able to move your design around on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my next tire. So now I drew the outside of my tire and now I'm gonna draw the inside of my tire. And you can see, oop, I went a little too far away. So you can just tap your eraser here and on the Luminary Solaris, you have the ability to change the size of your eraser as well as the shape. So I'm gonna keep it on a circle and just keep it on the default 20. So you wanna make sure you erase all of that line um, because any line that you put on the screen, even if it is accidental, um, the machine is gonna stitch it out. So you just wanna be careful about that. There you go, so I drew the inside of my tire. And I'm going pretty quickly here drawing them, so I'm being a little, you know, careless in my lines. But if I was going to um, stitch that, say, on a t-shirt or a pillow, I would definitely want to take some more time and be a little bit more careful about this and get my lines really fine-tuned. So now I'm moving on to the body of the dump truck. So the dump truck's yellow, so I don't want to do it in the same exact color as the tires. The tires I'm going to stitch out in um, a gray, the line around them. Um, the inside of the, the dump truck I want to do in a yellow. So what you want to do is you want to go back to your line and you're going to pick a different color. So I'm going to pick purple. And you're going to do this because if, if you want to change your color and you don't change your line color up here, it's going to do the whole entire design in the same color and you won't be able to stop for color changes. So this is basically telling the machine you want to do a different color change. So I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to go around my dump truck. And you can see how simple this is. You're just switching between the hand and the pencil button. So I'm gonna keep going. And I prefer to draw um, using my finger but like I'd mentioned before, you can use um, the stylus that came with it, or a lot of people I found are buying styluses off of Amazon um, that work pretty well for them. Um, I haven't personally tried it, but I see a lot of people use them. I find that I have more control when I use um, my finger. So I'm just gonna keep going all the way around Wherever I want it to stitch is where I'm gonna draw my line. You can probably hear little Caroline snoring over here. She's really enjoying her nap time. So I'm gonna go back to my eraser. I can see I came a little too far over here. So I'm gonna erase that. And you can be a little messy at first when you're going around because you can always go back with your eraser and go ahead and fix some of your lines if they're a little too messy for you. Okay, so I did the body of the dump truck. So now I'm going to go up here to my uh, bucket of my dump truck and now I'm gonna switch my line color. Again, you always wanna switch your line color when you want it to be a different color change. So I'm gonna switch it to, perp uh, to pink. I'm gonna press okay. And now um, what I would do is I'm gonna draw around the whole entire bucket. Um, that would, it's gonna take me some time, so I'm just gonna uh, Press next and show you the next couple steps. I actually already have this design uh, already digitized for you to see, so um, no worries on that. But you do want to go ahead and zoom out, say I'm all finished my design, and just make sure that you don't have any uh, extra lines uh, hanging around your design. The easiest way to see that is by turning your translucency down, and you can see exactly what you drew, and if there's any you know stray lines, you just wanna go in and erase those, because like I said, it's gonna draw exactly what you uh, put on the screen. So if there's a tick mark over here, or an extra line you drew over there, it's gonna sew that out and that's not always what you want. So I'm gonna press next. And here I have the ability to change the uh, length of my stitch. So if I want a really long stitch, I can do that. Um, or if I decide that I actually wanted to do a blanket stitch, that's more traditional with 
um, an applique, I could do that. But I'm gonna go and switch it back to just like my regular my regular line stitch. And you can also do a satin stitch too, which is a traditional to an embroidery applique. So I'm gonna press okay, just to set that in. And then I'm gonna press set. And what that does is it sets my design onto my screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually bring up, uh, I'm gonna go back home and delete this off because I have it fully finished for you guys. So I'm gonna go into embroidery and I'm gonna press the pocket. And you can see I have my design already finished here. And it's already in the right spot too because I had already scanned the design in so I don't have to worry about trying to get it in the right spot. But say you had rehooped your, your fabric and it's not in the exact same spot, you can use your camera here and take a picture. Or you can use your projector if you're on a Luminar and a Solaris, which I love, love, love this feature. Um, the projector, I use it all the time. So I can see over here that I pretty much have it lined up pretty perfectly um, on my fabric. So I'm going to press uh, OK. And you can see now, just like I had showed you before with the color changes, I have three separate color changes, which is exactly what we want. We want to do the tires, um, then the body of the dump truck, and then the bucket. So it's going to do all of those for me. And remember when you um, go ahead and draw anything in on the My Design Center, it's gonna do the last thing you drew first. So right now it's gonna want to do the bucket of my dump truck first because I drew that last and then the body and then the tires. So now um, it's already uh, all set and it's already digitized and ready to be stitched out. So all I'm going to do is put my presser foot down and I'm gonna press the uh, green button and it is going to start to go ahead and embroider out my design. And because I set this on a double applique, or a double stitch, it's gonna go around here twice. So when you start to see your machine go around twice, don't think it's a mistake, it's just a setting that we picked. So I picked the double line stitch. I really want it to be down there really tight so it doesn't come off. See, it's just gonna go around the whole entire thing exactly where I stitched, which is pretty awesome, because you can do this with so many different things now. Although I did mine with a dump truck, you can do flowers, you can do a unicorn, um, whatever your heart desires, you can go ahead and stitch out. So I'm gonna let this go all the way around. And you can also set this machine on a triple stitch as well if you want to do triple, but I just wanted to do double. So what it's going to do is it's cutting my thread um, and tying it off. So now it's ready for its next color change. So I'm going to keep on stitching my design.